the people of paradise will be those who have good character and conduct. A person whose character and conduct is very bad. Normally, there is something lacking in their Iman. A sign of Iman of a person is that their character is exemplary. That is a sign of Iman. When Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when his character and conduct was questioned, meaning people asked about it. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant blessings upon his entire family. What did the family members say? Aisha radiallahu anha comes up and says, Kana khuluquhu al-Qur'an. His character was the Qur'an, which means everything you find in the Qur'an, he was a living example of it. He was so compassionate. He had so much time for so many people and he smiled and so on. He made people feel warm. Do you want to hear one of his characteristics? La yahsabu jaleesuhu anna ahadan akram alayhi minhu. None of the people who sat around him felt that there was anyone else who was more honored than him in the eyes of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which means when he sat with people, they all felt so close to him. Each one felt the closest to him. Imagine that was a miracle. But with us, we cannot even make our family members feel close to us, the members of the ummah. And wallahi, without a joke, I'm saying this for the second time today. I have seen people who appear to be very, very religious but their character and conduct stinks, really stinks in the sense that they couldn't be bothered to greet or to respond to a greeting or to smile or to make people feel part of one family. Yet sometimes they have their own family members, even their own children who might be worse off in position than those whom they refuse to greet. Can happen. Allah can test you with anything. So remember, like you are bothered about your children, like you are bothered about saving yourselves and your children from the fire. You need to be bothered about the others as well. And you need to be bothered about how best you can help them as well. And Allah says in the Quran to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that made you lenient towards them, that softened you up towards them. Allah says, had you been hard hearted, had you been hard, harsh, hard hearted, they would have dispersed from around you. They wouldn't have wanted to listen to what you have to say. From this, we learn that as an ummah, we will work together by employing the best methods of speaking and communicating with one another. The best method of communication. Think about it. Allah's given you a brain. This brain is not for nothing. It is there in order to help you lead a life of goodness, the best possible life, so that you will have khair and goodness in the dunya, in this world, as well as in the life after death. And one of the ways is you think before you talk, before you open your mouth, ask yourself what I'm about to say. How many ways are there? to say what I want to say. And if there, there will always be more than one way. So which is the best way? And then you utter the words. But sadly, if you look at reality on the globe, what happening, what's happening today, people, whatever comes to their mind without thinking, they blurt it out of their mouths. And then they tell you, you know what? I'm a very straightforward person. You're so straightforward that you made everyone else crooked. May Allah protect us. That shouldn't be the case. We should employ the best method. Speak to people correctly. We want to work together. We will indeed learn to help one another by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.